Hi everyone, uh, it's Mike Bloke here. I have been very honoured to have been supported by a fellow YouTuber called Boo Jackasha, goes by the name of Ben, and he has designed something for the Magnavox Odyssey in the past called a multi-card. Looks like one of these. Ta Now he did have a few produced when he originally made it. I think it was about five and he gave a few away. Um, now the problem is over the years, others of us who have a Magnavox Odyssey, lucky enough to have one uh, in working condition, just about. We wanted something similar. Some people were able to homebrew their own. Some people had their own produced. Um, but what uh, Ben did is he gave the files away online on Atari Age and he allowed other people to use it if they wanted it. And at some point I was like, oh, I would love one of them. Absolutely love it. And I thought, you know what, there be, must be loads of people in the same situation as me. So I did kind of like a, a roll up call messaging people by private message last year. Just trying to see if there's any interest in getting some more produced. And what I found is that there was some casual interest. Um, a lot of people were interested in the idea, but um, there was no way of going about it. So I was I was, I was looking for games for this. You know, they do go on eBay occasionally uh, because I'm UK based, hence the accent. Um, it's quite hard to find uh, Odyssey games. They tend to be US based. There's quite often uh, with US auctions, they don't tend to be as kind to um, offering their sales to people outside the United States. Whereas in Europe, you might find a bit more willingness to to sell to people from other countries. So it's, it's really hard. I mean, uh, I've had this for a couple of years now, I think. Um, and I think I've seen about three or four decent eBay sales uh, in that time. So it, it does not come about very often. So if you want to play some of the other games, uh, like most people, I have the base six cards, so I've got two here. I usually have one and five out for testing purposes. Um, I don't tend to bother with the others. Um, what do you do? So, multi-card came up. And I'm going to show it working in a few moments. There is going to be some flashing lights because of the way that my reception that I pick up for the device works. So. Sometimes I get a better picture, sometimes I don't get a not so good picture, so there is going to be some flashing. So just an epilepsy warning, just to warn you that if you are sensitive to flashing lights, you you know, the, there's going to be some flashing lights coming up. <laughs> uh, so just a warning there before I put it on, there's, there's a reason why I've left it off the screen at the moment. Now I don't have a US TV, I don't have a TV that takes NTSC signals, so I have a USB device, I've shown it in pictures in the Atari age, uh, forum post. Um, but I'm going to show it in a video working now. So I've got it hooked up to my video, hooked it up to the TV, and it will show it working, but there is flashing lights, so pre-warning on that. Um, the other warning is it may look like I'm always looking upwards. It's because, for some reason, my laptop uh, camera is down here, and although I consciously try and look at the camera, it rarely happens, so I'm not trying to be awkward. It's just that the camera's in the wrong place. <laughs> so there's that. Um, so I'm just going to show how it works with just a regular one. So I'm just going to put this up now, just to warn you. Um, so there's the fuzzy screen. And then if I just show with number one, there we go. So we've got our lines, we've got a, a ball going off the screen. Um, my device seems a bit touching up, so there might be some like some errors with the way the ball handles. And then I've got the right one. There we go. So that's it working. So that's uh, number one. They see the ball going into the middle and then stopping because, as I said, my device is a bit funny. And then, of course, you've got the the English. There we go. So there's there's tennis working, essentially. And then we go off the screen. So that's a regular cart. What happens when you put one of these? So pretty obvious to anyone who's ever read up about it but in case you're new to it um, there are some dip switches that go along and down the, the side of it here we've got 
um, a list of numbers and for each uh, of the original 12 cards so 11 of 12 came out number 11 didn't um, but you can replicate it with this you have different numbers for A, B and C so A, B and C switches and then there's off and on so you can flick it with your fingernail and you flick the positions and then you get the card that you want by following the instructions that's on there so brilliant stuff very small can handle everything that you can do with the Odyssey, at least in the the, the base ones. Um, some other homebrew have produced some other fantastic little contraptions to use, so they're worth checking out as well. Um, you may be able to recreate some of those uh, with this, but um, some of the other additional uh, features, like that someone's produced like a button, extra button to press, you know, those things obviously this won't, won't cover, but many of the functions that it's created through the TV may potentially be now accessible by using these if you trial and error some of the uh, the options and you can probably work it out so for example card number two a5 that produces the two dots for the players because that is used for games like Simon Says in the original pack so there is no moving ball there's no barrier um, there's no interaction there's no collision detection so A5 is presentation of the two players. So you can always sort of work out some of the um, some of the switches, what, what elements they change in the Odyssey itself. So if I stick this in, I have set up handball for this. So obviously with this, you need to adjust the, the wall. So there we go, we've got a wall there. And then if we move players here. Very hard to play on your own. Um, anyone who's ever tried to play this on your own, you, you would fully well know. It's uh, quite difficult to find someone willing to actually play. <laughs> and there we go, there's the ball. Oh, it's going pretty fast. And it goes off the screen. Uh, right, let's try that again, see if I can bounce it off. To find which player it's uh, linking to, so no. But you get the idea. Um, There we go, there's a bounce, and then obviously it's waiting for the, for the next player to bounce that ball. So there we go, they got, we've got handball there. Um, normally I would show this with overlays. Uh, what I tend to do, because I'm, I'm recording this in OBS, what I tend to do is I record the, the overlays through OBS, so I'll have like an image. Um, can't really set that up in this situation. Well, I probably could, but I um, have a technology set up right, right now for it. Um, so you can imagine your overlay on top of that. Um, I've done videos before. I've done a video of my uh, Space War demake from the uh, Fairchild Channel F. So you can use OBS and things like that to create the overlays if you don't have the overlays. Um, there's other people who, who will find ways of printing it for you. So there's a few users on Atari Age that can do things like that. Um, and there's a few who have access to um, box production. So um, there's a few users on there who can get you boxes for things as well so essentially that is it that's that's how the card works and then if we take it off we can adjust some of these so if I go to volleyball which is card number seven and then so flip six and seven keep eight and ten on with B I want one five, six, and nine. And then with C, I'd need two, three, six, and nine. So two, three, three was already on, six, and nine. And there we go, we can see that the volleyball net has come up. Um, I think it still get. you can still adjust it, I think, from, from there slightly. Not quite so much, but you can. Um, and then you have your two players. I'm always very bad at remembering which one's left and which one's right. It should be really obvious, shouldn't it? It's probably the one on the left. Um, and then there's your ball. And then obviously, you get, oh, in this one, you have to use your English to... Uh, to go over the net and there we go 
So do apologize for the poor uh, video quality. That's more to do with uh, my device than the Odyssey itself. Um, but there you go, you've got an example of how that works. I have tested all the modes. Um, I don't have a light gun, so I'm unable to show it with the rifle. But this is essentially what Ben traded us for, so um, the light gun game should work. Uh, when I've done a quick test, I think all the, the interactions work as intended. So um, 9 and 10, I think, are, yeah, 9 and 10 are the, the gun ones. So I'm pretty sure that those positioning things do work. Uh, I'm just unable to fully test it. So I'm setting this on Atari Age individually. Each unit is £20. Um, I've given some conversion rates for those that live in the United States, uh, the Eurozone, and also in Australia because I was a user in Australia. Uh, but I can, I can easily change it for another country if you're interested and not from those territories. Um, and there's also a very minor cost to um, ship. Uh, I've tried to keep this as cheap as possible. So I've got a whole, where is it gone? Here it is. Got a whole bag of them. So I managed to get 50 produced um, as cheap as I could. And you can get more, you can get more than one. Um, some people are going for two or, or more. Um, I have about 20 left, um, but about 30 has been accounted for. So there's 20 left. So if anyone's got any interest in the Odyssey and would like to play some of the alternate games on it, which you may not have access to due to the rarity of some of the game cards, then uh, this is definitely for you. I've um, charged about an average about between four and seven pound for, for delivery for most places. Um, there is tracking available as well for a slightly higher cost. Um, and then obviously there's conversion rates on there. So I will link to all that. But do please check out uh, Ben's YouTube channel uh, um, and I'll give the link there as well. He covers mostly light gun games, which is what the original in, in, uh, intention for his card was. Um, and he's, he's still producing videos now. So I think his last one was like five days ago. He's still producing videos for all the different consoles or different types of light gun games. And, he's, he, and his website as well. He's got some other features um, that he's produced for the Odyssey um, replacement parts and, and things like that and some circuit board stuff so if you have an interest in the Odyssey definitely check him out um, and if you're interested in a card do let me know on the Atari Age forum there is some going still buy him up when you can thank you very much